lot of what we talked about on the tour was the individual actual architectural and structural elements of the building, where we're at the, with the building right now, but we also wanted to point out some of the challenges that go with constructing a commercial size structure such as this one as far as coordination between the various building trades and also with the architect, mechanical, structural, electrical, plumbing, engineers. These are called concrete masonry units or CMU for short. Those are in some key locations such as the gymnasium. You can see there's the beginning of the bridge. They're going to be building that up for the pedestrian bridge that comes over to the community wing, but the majority is structural steel. So everywhere where you see the four bolts and uh, there will be a leveling plate on some of them. You see the leveling plates there. Further down you'll see one that's completed, but that's where a column is actually going to be bearing down into the foundations. The foundations then distribute that load into the soil below. And so this was interesting for me because I like to see how they had all the, you know, what went into making a building, not just structurally but also chemically, like the grout that we learned about. There's, you know, all sorts of different components that make that um, able to transfer heat and stuff. And it was interesting to see just kind of like the composition of everything and how that related to what pressures you could put on it, where, where it was best used. It was just cool to see how everything kind of came together from more than just a structural angle. We have in this geothermal field 100, 400 foot deep wells. I think the total length of piping is something on the order of 16 miles. And the purpose of that is to exchange heat in the water inside these piping with the ground. Coming here today just kind of gave me an intro of what uh, civil engineering and engineering in general is, all the different types of chemical engineering and mechanical engineering and plumbing and all that sort of stuff. We recycle all the wood that's not treated, all the metal, any uh, masonry, rubble materials. We try to recycle as much as we can, divert that from landfills as part of our construction waste management program. When I was little, I used to think the only thing that happened at construction was the trucks move stuff. Uh, obviously, it's more complicated than that, but I never really knew just how complicated this kind of stuff was until today. Like, I, I understood a lot of people and man hours went into it, but looking at this, it's like, there are so many things that have to get done. Just this, the page after page of drawings, I never even considered that aspect of it. Not to mention all the, all the stuff that's happening out there that I never thought would be an issue either. One of the big things that's experienced in construction is coordination issues and working through those problems as they come up. It's a big part of construction management. It's a big part of engineering. Uh, and I know this was an engineering class. One thing we wanted to drive home is uh, you know, solving problems is essentially the core of what engineering is, and that's a big part of the construction process, is just solving these day-to-day -day problems using logic to come up with the best solution. Mm -hmm.